What are CTS and CLS in .NET? Relationship between CTS and CLS CTS and CLS are parts of .NET CLR and are responsible for type safety within the code. Both allow cross-language communication and type safety. In this article I would like to expose the relationship between these. 2. CLS is a subset of CTS CLS is a set of rules or guidelines. When any programming language adheres to these set of rules, it can be consumed by any .NET language. Common Language Specification, CLS CLS stands for Common Language Specification and it is a subset of CTS. It defines a set of rules and restrictions that every language must follow which runs under .NET Framework. The languages which follows these set of rules are said to be CLS compliant. In simple words, CLS enables cross-language integration. For example, one rule is that you cannot use multiple inheritance within .NET Framework. As you know C++ supports multiple inheritance but, when you will try to use that C++ code within C Sharp, it is not possible because C Sharp doesn't support multiple inheritance. One another rule is that you cannot have members with same name with case difference only i.e. you cannot have add, and add, methods. This easily works in C Sharp because it is case sensitive but when you will try to use that C Sharp code in VB.NET, it is not possible because VB.NET is not case sensitive. Common Type System, CTS CTS stands for Common Type System. It defines the rules which common language runtime follows when declaring, using, and managing types. The common type system performs the following functions. It enables cross-language integration, type safety, and high-performance code execution. It provides an object-oriented model for implementation of many programming languages. It defines rules that every language must follow which runs under .NET Framework. It ensures that objects written in different .NET languages like C-Sharp, VB.NET, F-Sharp etc. can interact with each other. Why CTS is called Common Type System In .NET, every data type is internally represented by a class or structure. All the classes and structures related to data types are collectively known as CTS. As you know every language provides its own keywords for data types but internally all the languages which run under .NET Framework use the classes and structures available in CTS. For example, C# -sharp has int data type and VB.NET has integer data type. Hence a variable declared as int in C# -sharp or integer in VB.NET. Finally after compilation, use the same structure int32 from CTS. All the structures and classes available in CTS are common for all .NET languages and purpose of these is to support language independence in .NET. Hence it is called CTS.